Hello everybody, Tom Matuska here with the Matuska Tax Service Supply Company along with Brett Wingfield. We're missing um, Amber Ingalls today, she was called away. Um, we have Mandy Swart and Kirsten, our camera girl, and uh, today we're going to talk about habitat. And Kirsten suggested that I talk real slow to allow people to log on. So we're going <laughs> to talk real slow for a little bit. Uh, and uh, last time, I think we did deer finishing. We yep. finished a whitetail and uh, showed you nose texturing. We showed you coloring. Um, showed them a little uh, airbrushing around the eyes and nose. I think you got to see how to texture the nose with the easy nose texture tool. And any of these um, Thursday afternoon lives that we do, they're all on uh, YouTube that you can go and look at our Facebook and <laughs> tell me if I'm not saying it right. Um, videos tab. Video tab. Yes. You can look at our video tab and uh, uh, you can go back and look at any of these. So if we mention a product like uh, Easy Noser or something like that and yeah. you don't know what it is, go back and there's probably a pretty good illustration of one of us using it, um, how to airbrush and things like that. One of the nice new things we have on our website, um, they've been working really hard at kind of updating it, the search bar. So if you hear the guys talking about something that you're interested in, go to our website, type it in the search bar, and you'll have a drop down menu that will come up with the stuff they talk about. Also, there is an area where you can do live chat now. So if you have any questions on there, let's try not to hit me on a Sunday night, but if you have questions, you can ask us live and we'll try to answer and help you find whatever you guys are Don't looking we have for. a little disclaimer that says, I'm sorry, there's not a representative available? There is, now. but lucky you, your little graphics girl and I work weekends and nights on answering wow. questions for people. So That's we will help you guys look for whatever you're looking for. So make sure you go check us out on the website to find that stuff. Okay, so go back and look at any of them. We've done a lot of different things. We've done um, bird feet injection. We've done uh, all kinds of things. Some fish, fish mount. Many, yep. many fish. We gotta get back to that old large mouth yep. one of these days too. <laughs> Customer's gonna want it. <laughs> uh, and today we're gonna do habitat. We showed you a little bit of habitat a couple weeks ago, I think, yeah. um, of all the different habitats. And habitat is a vital part of your tax taxidermy business. Um, a lot of taxidermists are very good at what they do when it comes to mounting a deer, mounting a mink or a squirrel or a raccoon, whatever it happens to be, um, only to not, it doesn't come natural doing the habitats and things like that. So in an effort to help people like that, um, as well as help you to turn out the uh, you know, award-winning mounts, um, we've come up with a whole line of habitat and we keep adding to it. I mean, like almost on a daily basis, we have lots of new habitats. Uh, any of you um, have been in tax for me very long, you surely know the value of, we call it driftwood. Um, it's not necessarily driftwood, it never drifted anywhere, uh, but it's just weathered wood. You can find something uh, out in the woods. Just be sure that if you're gonna use something like this and you found it, um, make sure that it's either cedar or you're gonna to wanna to preserve it because real yeah. wood, insects will get it probably at some time. So um, cedar is impervious to insects. Don't have to worry about it. Um, if you don't know if it's cedar or not, drill a little hole in it and smell it, you'll smell cedar, just like a cedar chest. Um, otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to treat it. We've treated it with uh, melathion, ortho makes some different products. Uh, it's kind of fragrant in a bad way <laughs> yeah. stuff. Don't so spray if you're gonna up. spray it or soak it or anything like that, leave it outside and let it air dry outside and then it's good for bug proofing for a long time. You're getting this, lots of hearts and thumbs up. Really? Yeah. Keep them coming, keep them coming. This is, uh, uh, they call it tumbled cedar driftwood. And again, it's not driftwood, but it comes from Texas and it's scrub cedar. We carry it in the supply company in um, small, medium, large jumbo, jumbo if that are sizes. Um, it's super solid wood. You won't find any rotten areas in it. It's impervious to bugs. You never have to treat it. Um, it's good and solid and you order it by the piece and this is what it looks like. And they actually um, cut it. They also cut it so it's flat for the wall. That's a big job. It and is. we also have tumbled perch. The um, stumps. Posts, yeah, what kind of posts? 
Uh, this could be uh, used for on the table like this. It could be on the wall like this. It could be like that. We oftentimes use this type of thing for our fish mounts. You know, big old large mouth bass coming up, maybe some weeds and moss on it. You know, it works really well. The problem we have always had to find a to find the right piece when I'm looking for for a piece of wood for a fish, I will go down to the where we store this, the room that we store this, and we have ten thousand dollars worth of driftwood at any one time, or weathered cedar wood. And I will bring up a piece, I'll look for about 10 minutes, bring up a piece, ah, it's not as good as I hoped. Can I make it work? Yeah, but I bet I can find better. And sometimes I'll spend half hour, 45 minutes to find a piece for the right fish, you know, right piece for the fish. Um, just because of that fact, we've come up with artificial driftwood, and uh, we have, this is this is a perch piece and uh, this is made out of 10 pound density foam if you buy any of our driftwood that has branches out each one of these branches is reinforced individually so with a piece of wood so a lot of them piece of wood or a lot of them piece of a wire or something like that if you were to break them they won't fall all the way off you can glue them back on um, really strong stuff um, Gorilla Glue works really good yeah. to glue that stuff back together. Gorilla Glue is an actual foam, so you can Gorilla Glue them, yes. put some screws in, take them out, cover your screw holes with moss. Now, if they're designated perch branch, do they have a wood piece where the feet would Usually go? Usually there, the there should be. Um, something like this has a nice flat piece of wood that lays in this branch. So say you're going to put a, this is an big piece, you could put a, you know, a, big duck on this, for instance, maybe a, a mallard for the wall or, you know, a bigger bird of some sort. You could drill down through here, and this is already 10 pound density foam. It's hard stuff. It's really hard stuff. But you can drill down and it will hold your wires. That's our perch piece. We have a whole big array, array of that sort of wood. And that is what color? Oh, it comes in two colors. Um, weathered. There's a weathered piece, I think, over there. This is weathered. And this one is? Cedar. Cedar. Cedar and weathered. And these that's are. The real thing. Yeah, that's the real thing. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. Kind of blah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and you can. These are the colors they come in. You might want to spice them up to your own liking. You can add some some rusts in here and make it yeah. more redwoody colored. You can make it, you know, whites. You can add any kind of color. These are all painted with a latex paint. We do that all the time. We just add a little splash of color to it. Now sometimes, sometimes this stuff is so easy to work with. A couple alterations you can make, and I think we're going to do a little seminar on this later yeah. in the month, Upcoming. next month. Um, how to alter these. You can put these all together for large, large fish, for large bases. Um, you can tailor them to whatever animal you have to do uh, or that you want to do. This, for instance, I use this a lot of times for walleyes and bass, but this is in my way. I don't like it there. I cut it off. I save the piece I cut off because I'll use it someday. I round off the edges, put a little paint on it, a little moss, and now this does not obstruct my big walleye going up or my bass going up, you know, that sort of thing. Then I save those little pieces like this. Got a whole box of them because I trim them up all the time. They're real easy. Cut them with a, a little hacksaw, yeah. sawzall or something like that. You can take this piece. The color doesn't match. This is a cedar and this is weathered. But you could make a perch out of one of these just by putting a couple screws in there, covering it with a little bit of moss, hiding it. Do you need it. anything besides screws? Um, if I was going to do this, I probably would attach it with auto body putty, then screw it tight, and then we blend a lot of times, we'll blend that auto body putty, and that'll be in one of the following Thursdays we do. We're going to show you how to put these all together and how to make this piece blend to the next piece so it looks on one, like one piece. Yeah. Amber does an amazing job doing that. So. <laughs> Amber does a good job of doing that. But uh, this stuff is so versatile, um, it's way easier to work with for me than the real thing. I can make it look as as good as the real thing, I think. 
Um, you're never going to get bugs in it. And the one advantage is um, if you've used this piece before, you know that it works for every great big three pound crappie that you're ever going to want to do. Um, there is a little risk that you don't want to give, you know, same five customers the same piece of wood. So kind of keep a little track of what you mounted their fish on or pictures or something because this, this does not look the same as if you used it like this. People yeah. won't recognize it. It won't look the same as if you tip it that way. Um, you can Lots of options. fool a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and there's a weight advantage to it too. Oh gosh. You know, this is, what do you think? I don't know, Amber weighed this one. What did she weigh this one at? Uh, actually, she weighed, she weighed a big one. Habitat. She weighed a great big one at four pounds. Four pounds, and if it was cedar, it would have been 10 it easily is. or more. So to show you how easy this is to use, um, we use it on absolutely everything. We use it on um, birds, we use it on fish, we use it on our mammal bases. Um, we have rocks, we have wood, we have all kinds of things. But first of all, we're talking about you know the wood part of it. Um, this is a perch branch in cedar. Looks more like a crap than me. Well, it's, I mean I mean that a little bird could perch on. It. Oh, I see. Confusing for us fish guys. And this is uh, right out of the store. This is how you get it. It's got typically there's a double plated half inch piece of wood in the back. So you've got plenty of wood thickness to bend over your wires and countersink them or to put in a threaded rod, we, which we do a lot of times in the fish and countersink them. Now on something like this, um, I just made this up for demonstration purposes. These are uh, Harvey Moore's artificial feet, but got a couple holes here. I'm not quite sure which ones are going to be. Now, whenever we do a bird, we like to cut the real feet off. These aren't the real feet, these are artificials. Typically we use the real ones. But we will set the whole bird up like this. We will inject his feet, let him dry. We will build the neck, paint the bill, paint the feet, have that bird completely ready to mount on this base, and then poof, he comes off the base, we mount him, we put him back on. The worst thing, for me, and I always advise when we're teaching students, the worst thing for me is I, I hate to see you get a bird sewn up and say, I wonder what I'm going to put him on. That's, that's a problem. Um, or fish is a little bit easier, but birds and mammals, um, that base needs nice to be to thought, a not a, needs to be a forethought, not an afterthought. Yeah. So with something like this and my little, you know, wood there. Um, we're going to dress that up just a little bit. We carry a huge variety of, of different leaves. Yeah. And you can tailor this to what time of the season you want. Uh, I pre-drilled some holes in here. That's foam. So I just take a drill bit. I would put a little bit of hot glue or maybe Elmer's glue down in there. And that blends really, really nice. You can do the nice same. Pop of color. Something like so. Um, if you wanted, we have lots of grasses. Um, this is uh, covered grass we import, and uh, you know, a lot of our lot of our bases will put, especially upland birds, mm -hmm. pheasant, or something like this. I've just taken these grasses, and they come in huge clusters. Um, when you order. We call it cover grass. When you order it, this is what a bundle looks like. Comes in. How many colors do we have? We get a lot of different colors. You got, I think, eight different, eight or eight ten different, different colors. colors. And then sizes. You have the tall too. And you can mix them too. You can put a couple, couple sprigs of bright green with the dried stuff, and it looks like, you know, a, a late fall, like things are shutting down for the winter. Um, and what I do with this stuff is I peel off little strands, tie it with thread pull the thread through the strands that are sticking out, cut it off, and now I have little clusters of grass. James, welcome. Glad we could help you. He actually used the chat now button on our website. Oh, really? To oh, really? say you can watch the video and we helped him. Um, somebody's asking about the price difference between our real tum 
tumbled cedar driftwood and are artificial and it's really hard to it kind of throws you off seeing the price of it because it is our artificial is a little bit more expensive but you're taking the guess out of what you're gonna get and it's just an all-around better product but the sizes are so different compared to our cedar driftwood that it actually you're looking at about $21 to $12, $30 to $19. So it kind of just depends on which price. one you're looking at. Um, the nice thing is though, when you order this, they're all random and when you order it, you're gonna get whatever that person picked out and they don't know what you're mounting or what you need or where you need a branch. They'll do the best they can. All of it's nice, nice driftwood. Um, with something like this, you don't need to order 10 pieces and pick the best one. You can order one piece and know it's going to work. So that's the big advantage along with the weight. Um, and two. you don't have to wait with us. <laughs> Another thing, Don Frank, he carries a spider. I don't think I saw you bring that one up. Uh, yeah. Spider-Man oh, looking one, no. the web. He has that, he said, in his shop. And he likes it so when customers come in, he can show them exactly what they're going to get. And they pick yeah. which piece they want, which is nice as well. Um, Corey Sawyer's asking if we sell the green dye for the real grass and sticks. We don't anymore. We used to, but it, just, it wasn't a hot selling item. Uh, we had Never Say Die, and we had mm, another brand. I remember Never Say Die. Um, Mandy was about this big, and we used to go out and get cattails, yeah, yes. remember? Yep. And the John Boat, we'd have the John Boat. Looked like a duck blind by the time we came back. Um, this is a new one, and this is kind of a... You can call it a perch, but it's our turkey roof. And um, big crap. This per this big <laughs> this person wanted a um, turkey gobbling on strutting on a, a branch for the wall. So this is what we have. And uh, that branch, this is a this has so much character, it's just the coolest piece. This is the branch, it comes as a kit, without you what you call it, comes together. Right. Um, it has a little index here. This half inch bolt goes into a half inch rod that runs all the way down here, and then these are reinforced with strips of wood. So the 10 pound density foam, um, we were gonna stand on, I was gonna sit on it, but nobody would let me. Okay. Um, but it's strong the way it is, even without reinforcement. This is bolted to this, there's a little bit of moss on here. Do you sell the moss? We are selling the moss. A moss version. Uh, there's powdered moss on here. Now, you take something like that, and depending on the time of year, um, you can adorn that with all kinds of things. You could make it a, you could make it a pine seam, just by sticking these in, gluing them in. Um, you could make it a late, Fall scene. You so know, you can a Thanksgiving turkey or a Christmas turkey. Thanksgiving and Christmas, yeah. Um, you could make snow scene, and before any of you say it, we are going to be showing snow and water coming up. Oh my gosh, you just promised that. I know. <laughs> um, this is one of our favorite things. We use this on oh my on fish. We use it on birds. We use it on mammals. We use it on bears. Um, it's is it moss vine? Is that what it's called? It is called branch, branch. with moss. Yep. Simple. Um, but this is really neat stuff, um, you know, to have wound around your old turkey branch like a, like one of them parasitic, what do they call it, symbiotic? Is that a biological and you term? typically get a couple of uses out of that one branch. Oh, God. Yeah, well, you this can cut this. It's got wire in it. Yeah. Um, a lot of times for a little piece of driftwood like, like this, I would just cut off a twig and put it on. The more, the more elements to a point, the more elements you add to your habitat, you add a lot of realism. You can over-element it too, yeah. I think. There is such a thing as adding too much. No trespassing sign. How long is the branch? Is it 31 inches, I think? Oh, maybe. I think at least. Yeah. Now you could cut that and you could, you could add things to it. Sure. Sure, you could use it individually or use it on the wall mount. Um, it would be used like so um, and put the wall mount on the ground. Sure, 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 sure. Um, lots of different options. It's a pretty cool piece. It's, we chose this one because of the character of the wood. So there's some neat stuff here. It was easy for us to reproduce and pull out. 
but lots of nice okay. character. Tons of character. 31? I think, I think, I think so. at least. 31 inches for the bird. Um, but you'll never, I mean, you'll, you'll spend days looking for the right piece and coming up with something like this or making something like that. Um, and it's instant. And you can tailor it. You can put snow on it. You can put pine on it. You can put leaves on it. Not until you show them how. You can cut it off. All kinds of different things. But that's the trick. And that would, that would work for, I mean, um, you Wisconsin guys, I mean, a uh, big old fisher walking down that would mm -hmm. be pretty darn cool. Raccoons. Raccoon. A raccoon can lay on that. Um, a lot of times students want to do a raccoon laying down. And that all sounds good until it comes time to the base. What, what do you have for a base for me? We have nothing for a raccoon laying down. You're going to have to take a walk in the woods. And they'll take a lot of walk in the woods before they find that right branch that a raccoon can lay down on. Possum. But that's our turkey roost. We were pretty excited about that. Possum hanging by his hand. Possum. Okay, what do you want to show them? You want to show them how to do a fish? We can put a fish on quick. Do it. Um, we've got a piece here that we've selected for a fish reproduction. We've got one started. This, this one's kind of a cool fish. Before we, we better tell them that we didn't get confused on what it, can we show them? Yeah. yeah. So this is a local fish. It's a striped northern. Um, I had right a West Lake Tom Roos. I have been, I have been in this area for all my life, which is a long, 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 long time. <laughs> and I never Longer heard than of these up until about five years ago. And I had never seen one until last year we had two of them brought in. And they are beautiful. They're just beautiful. So we've just got some base colors on this. Um, this is just a Lake Country reproduction. Um, and we're going to use it to show you today. We set up all of our, our skin mounts and our reproductions with some kind of a, a wire or a rod in the back of them. Um, and this one is drilled really tight. <laughs> so I might have to have you hang on here. To which part? Brian Turfit says, hey guys from Nebraska, been making artificial Bondo rocks the Matuska way. Thanks for these live feeds are awesome. So again, all our live videos, we do this every Thursday, 4.30, but you can always go back on our Facebook page and re-watch them. So he's talking about a habitat video where we did molding, yeah. rock yep, molding. Yeah, we did all kinds of rock stuff. And he had several different little habitat intros. Um, so this is one of our artificial pieces of driftwood. I pre-drilled it so you didn't have to watch me do that, but basically we just set it up here, kind of chose a nice position for the fish. I have drilled out the front all the way to the wood um, and then you can see on the back side we've countersunk this here so that we can countersink the nut and the washer so i'm going to come around here and the first thing i would do is just set it up on your drift or on your mounting stand and then we're going to have that there i'll probably push this back a little bit And then we're going to put this on. And then I'll have to spin that with a with. I got it. Thank you. Like a, like a that's, not, that's right. Scalpel. <laughs> Scalpel, doctor. <laughs> so we would we would eventually cut this rod off, but we're going to leave it short today or pretty long today now you could you could bondo that fish in there epoxy yeah. them or whatever yep. but we typically either bolt them or bend the wire over and put some screws in to hold it because every once in a while a customer comes back and he wants him to put on something different or another fish added yep and this works pretty well this will give you a, a good start for it um, I'm gonna need a needle nose because And remember, if you're watching, stay tuned to the end because we do have a yeah. giveaway that we will be announcing, announcing the winner here in six minutes. And they have 30 minutes to tune in to claim their prize at the end. But one of the things you could win is the Sharpen Air 
which is a great new product. It's $45 value and it saves your needle life. Nice. There you go. That'll work. Give you every tool in the shop. Thank you. I'll just reach in there a couple times on this. Um, so now that we've got the fish kind of where we want him, I'm going to tighten him down just enough like that and then we can start adding some elements so he looks pretty cool like this but we typically like to add a few rocks um, we'll have we've got rock clusters we have a couple Four of different, different ones. sizes yep yep these are a couple that we use often and then we just added a couple um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one. Yep. different textures and shapes um, this probably a little big for me, um, but these here work really well as an accent, nice little color accent here and here, um, and they're super easy to add to your, add to your face. And again, they're all each hand painted and super lightweight, so rather than the adding the real rock to your driftwood, you're not going to weight it down on the wall. Right, easier to right. This these are is very lightweight. This is nowhere near a pound. <laughs> Get that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Now when you do these faces, especially when we're using our, our products, it gets to be fun. People, I mean, people like the product when it's finished and and we have a lot of fun doing them and setting them up and seeing different configurations. Want to hold that frame? Yeah. And um, Kirsten, if you want to come around here, I'm just going to pick a spot and I'm going to drill right through it. Um, okay. Just come right between the rocks. I want some on this side. Right over here. Yeah. Just going to hide a screw right up through here. Oh, that's sturdy already. And it's not glued yet. No. Nope. And then we'll we'll put a screw in it. Um, we may come around here to the other side and do another one. And we can just kind of play with the composition this way if you like them. If you like that second one in there. Sometimes it's nice to add dimension to your to the piece that you're doing. Um, we can turn it this way. You might even like it that way. A little bit of contrast. I think this would look really nice right about here. That's your magic spot. Yeah. Change it to that. Nope. I'm just gonna run through there. And the nice thing is, then we're gonna hot glue those in place behind it. Um, once we get everything there, for now, we'll leave that. If we want to make a change, we can always change it. So we won't glue them um, from the very beginning, but now I'm going to go back to the branch. We use this a lot with our fish. Um, it's very, very versatile. I like to give it kind of a, a point of an anchor point. So I might even though we're showing you an artificial, we're kind of in favor of our artificial driftwood now, you could do the same thing with the cedar. Absolutely, yeah, you really could. Um, you could do it with the cedar driftwood. You could actually do one of the really fun things is we've got some bases that are already done. The driftwood and the rocks are already attached. Um, so it's, and that is molded all in one piece. Um, so that's another option too. Um, what I like to do is just kind of bring some of this around, like so. The neat thing about this stuff, that, that is very, very... Hey, birthday girl, you want to come say hi? Can I say hi from here? No, oh, no. Uh, we got Vicki Matisse's birthday, birthday yesterday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Getting close to Medicare, let me tell you, it's an exciting feeling. Show her some hearts and thumbs up. <laughs> Here's an example of uh, you know, one of them with the rocks molded right in. Yeah. Um, and this can be used on the table. You can have a little otter 
run them along there. Raccoon can be hung on the wall. Candles nice. for your Christmas centerpiece. Ah, we're gonna do that too. That's gonna be that's gonna be one of my fur, my favorite things is the <laughs> is the holiday thing. Everybody's gonna get a chance to design their own, compose their own. Ooh, lots of love for you, Mom. Ooh, baby. Yeah, everyone's telling you happy birthday. Oh wow! Thank you, thank you. My husband cooked for me. It was pretty wonderful. <laughs> so now. This attaches really nice again because it's the foam. We're just going to attach a few of these lines with a air stapler, pretty common tool in everybody's shop. Um, you could do this with hot glue if you wanted to. Um, kind of like the security of the air stapler. And now we can even add the element of water flow, fish swimming against the water by bending these in any direction that we want. We're going to get some consistency with them all kind of headed back and just give it a nice, a nice flow and texture. Just oh, about there's like my that. raffle in there too. <laughs> we can always add that too. Um, now that we've got some of those elements in place, um, we're just going to cover up a few of those staples with another artificial product that we use a lot here in the shop, and this is our moss. Um, is that matte that moss? That is your matte moss. Yeah, matte matte moss, moss, when you get it, you're not going to be very impressed with it, and you're going to say, oh, it this looks is a... super it, fake It style, looks kind of yeah. funny, but yeah. we peel it off like Brett has there. Yeah, peel it off peel of it, back the backing. Off. Just throw it right away. That's this thick matte moss. And then you're left with this that you can really manipulate tear it and give it any kind of shape that you want. You could paint over top if you wanted a different yep. color moss, but it's the uh, matte moss right there. You can even add, a, add the moss block into it. Do you now, fill in the staple holes to hide them? Watch this. Right now, actually, Kristen, if you want to come over here. You put your finger on that hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> That's a This is no a, thing. That's the worst. Don here's Frank a staple says, right hot here. Glue is hot. You <laughs> And then we're just going to take a little touch of hot glue here. What staple? And now the staples go away. Go away. So, and also adds a nice element, um, a realistic element. That screw hole that we had um, <laughs> from attaching the rocks, John. Um, we're just going to cover it right up with the moss. Um, work actually works very well. John Barber says, if we buy artificial wooden rocks, can we pay with artificial money? I'm going to send you an artificial box. Yeah. Artificial candy. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, but that's really, you know, what did we do? 10 minutes? 15 maybe by the time we drill a couple of This holes has in cut it? our, we spent a lot of time putting fish on. We really do. And this is. Honest to God, cut it in half at least, or more. You know, so there is some expense in the initial investment of the, the elements, but they're artificial, they'll last longer than any of us will, and they're extremely durable, very flexible, and gosh, user friendly. As far as time in the shop, I think your most important commodity is time. So and the nice really thing helps. about putting a fish on like you did, um, I always tell customers, if you ever want him going up or going down, you can, you can, pose in. You can you can take another piece of even real. You can put real wood on here, a little branch out here with a perch out in front of him. Um, if you have a big old largemouth for instance going down after a you know crawdad or something, they're very versatile. We need a little we, chase fish. We gotta yeah. announce our um, winner from last oh. week. Um, have to, I don't that. Okay, our winner so what we're doing We have four prize giveaways to give away. You'll get the choice, you'll get to pick one. But it is Don Swindle from Fins and Fur Taxidermy, Idaho. Don Swindle, you have now 26 minutes to tune in, say you're watching. If anybody knows him, tag him if you want to be super nice. Otherwise, stay tuned because if he doesn't. We haven't seen his name on there yet. Yeah, if he doesn't claim the prize, we will give it to somebody watching live. So make sure you are 
stay in tune for that. Don um, Swindle, where are you at? Don Swindle, tune in, let us know you're watching so we can give it to you. See, in addition to all that wood, I am here. Oh, good oh, boy. God. All right. Now you got to keep watching to the end to pick your prize. Right at about 5.20, we will let you choose which one. Sorry, everybody else. Yeah, yeah Dustin Norton says, I'll be done. <laughs> but just make sure you share the video so you have the chance for next week. We had... 48 shares on last week's video, so there's really? 48 people. Don, you're one of 48 that got it. Nice. Yeah, so you got to share the video in order to be in the drawing. Um, here's some more fun products. We have how many of these do we have? Four? Five? Oh, oh gosh. Really? Different size of these little yeah. things? Ten. Really? Mm -hmm. um, ten of these, and, and this again is that 10 pound density foam, and this is coupled with walnut, a nice walnut hollow. This is solid walnut. Base, no plywood. We don't sell any plywood. Um, and this will fit right down in it. You can add grasses to that. Thirteen. Uh, these little things. You can you can add grasses. You can add mosses. You can add a little chunk of uh, Brett's viney stuff. You can use this for a duck. What were you going to use it for? Where's your little pearl? Oh, that great or thing. that bluegill, that monster bluegill. Todd Huffman and Shane Smith, I know, like the rocks, because we got pictures from all the Oh, gosh, those guys do stuff. amazing bird work. Yeah. Amazing bird work. Um, but you can tailor these. And how do these come? These come in a wash version? Yep, and most of our stuff comes in a wash, which is less expensive for you guys because it's less hand painting for us. Um, and it's still a great color. My mind. Nice. And this then it comes painted. Look at the size that of that, that baby. Wow. Something and like that. That will be anchored down in here and he's going yeah. down. This is a nice little thing that could sit on a desk or a huge. shelf. Yeah. Um, when this is painted, it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Now, if you wanted the washed version, this one also indexes into a really nice, beautiful um, walnut hollow base. Um, it's got a gnarly old piece of wood, got a rocks, a whole bunch of pebbles, and this is just the wash. Just so, to give you an idea, this is just the wash, and it would be $23. Now a detail, each rock on there would be painted. A fully detailed one would be $48. This is a different one, but it's, it's the detail. All the rocks are painted individually. But if you're an artistic person or comfortable painting your own rocks, it would not take um, much. that's the way to do it. It's mm -hmm. cheap, it'll go, you can do a good job. But Inexpensive. That's, that fits in. That, um, we'll take any kind of a pedestal fish, you know. Yeah. Or um, you can put it on the wall. wall. Yep. All kinds of different variations. Um, so we have all kinds of these. And if you didn't see, we keep talking about this 10 pound foam. It's stronger than pine. So strong. I want a steak dinner from Mandy <laughs> driving over it with my truck. Did and then I not? you almost crashed your truck and so you lost your steak dinner. <laughs> Uh, that is a good video to go check out if any of you are looking for it. I think that one's comedy. on YouTube. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. um, this is another rock formation. This fits in a walnut hollow, solid walnut base. Great for a pedestal, for a bird, um, you eider people, you know, that's kind of a nice little... I would actually be a great duck mount for the wall too. Sure, 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 sure. Just like that. Um, we think we have used these in a lot of different ways, but we get pictures from people that I think we're kind of creative sometimes, but there's some really artistic, creative people out there. Um, here's the bigger version, and we have used this several times on deer. This makes a nice deer pedestal. Walnut, nice walnut base. Um, this, we come, these come in shale, and they come in what else? They come in shale, but there's a gray shale, and there's a red shale. Red shale, yeah. Um, and then you can, you can tailor this with grasses, Weeds, vines, leaves, snow, all kinds you of things. You did one with a mule deer pedestal on that one. Yeah, we've yeah. done a mule deer and a white tail on this one. Um, and it's solid. this is solid all the way down in. There's a block of wood down in there. Um, you're never going to have to worry about anything sagging or breaking apart. It's strong. How much do you think it weighs? Oh, with the walnut. Eight pounds. Would it work for a coyote's shoulder pedestal? This one's too big. Absolutely. That one would. That one would be beautiful for a coyote. 
man, this would do it. Just be would big. Too. You sure. It almost Some just grasses up in front. Yep. You might turn yep. it this way. Pretty cool stuff. A normal shale rock like that would be heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Backpack that across uh, for you brought that along. Uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> you can tell we're kind of excited about this stuff. We use it every single day in the shop. There's not a day that goes by that we are not running to the supply company, picking up things and coming up with new ideas. It's just really yeah. fun to, to use if, this stuff. If you go to the, our Matuska Taxidermist studio page and look at the pictures, all the fish that we've done in the last couple of years, they're all done on the artificial day. Hunter Evans says he used the large shell rock for a diving eider. Send us oh, a picture, cool. Hunter. Send us, send us, pictures us a of that. picture. Yeah. We love seeing pictures on our stuff, and if you guys want a chance to be in our catalog or us to share your stuff to all of our customers, send us your pictures. We love to see them. And we were not the first to come up with this. And who you think is the first to come up with this was not the first to come up with this. Mm -hmm. um, Jim Kimball and Brenda Duvall actually had a display like this um, in their safari room, showroom, and that's where this concept came from. Whether it's a, whether it's a branch or whatever formation it is, um, and this is our wall habitat. Yep. And this is just one version. We've got a couple different versions. This will work on a, a bear, as you can see. It'll work on a deer. Um, this has pine trees, which is kind of berry. Um, you can do the same thing with, um, Maybe some birch or aspen leaves. A little bit of snow. We're actually going to sell them that way. Yeah. Cornfields. So we're we're going to sell them two versions without any habitat and then with the evergreen and with the birch. Wonder who's <laughs> going to be doing all that. Huh? Um, <laughs> Keith is wondering if we sell our rocks food. without the bases, and we do. All of our oh, yeah, we do. rocks are sold separately, or you can get them as a kit, whichever you choose. Yeah. Um, and we've got rock clusters, and then we also have a bag of river rock, yes. individual rocks. Yep. You can take something like this if you wanted to add on. If this wasn't big enough for the animal you're doing, you can, you can add more driftwood onto it, you can add more rocks onto it, you can add any kind of foliage you can, you want. Um, any of our stuff, you can go to Hobby Lobby, you can go to any of the stores to get this. We hunt pretty hard to find good looking most, stuff, yeah, realistic stuff. Realistic, yeah. Somebody was wondering, they really liked that piece, but was wondering if it, we had one for the other side. Can you actually turn that around and use it for the other side? I... The rocks will be on top. Not terrible. Well, okay. Maybe he's coming out of his cave. Let's try this. So maybe for a different turn bear. Not out of the question, and we will have. But so if you had a bear turning left. Um, that looks pretty good, really. That looks really good. So it could be a universal left, right. Sure. He's squeezing right through those two trees. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> well, okay, should we show him how to do one of these? Yeah, let's put this on. Um, this is so easy. Yeah. You go to the store, call 1-800, and you're going to get this in the, in the uh, mail or UPS, FedEx, however you ordered it. You're going to have a big buck like this that Finish last week. Get some of these other hazards out of here. Ow! <laughs> Rob says um, he likes kits. I do too, Rob. I do too. You know, and the nice thing about this stuff is this is a way that, as taxidermists, we're always looking for ways that we can add to our profit. Um, this is easy. There's, a, there's plenty of room for markup on this. Um, as we start adding these elements, there's very little time involved in them, and so they can be very profitable to your business. And I think that's why we like them so much, is um, we use them all the time. We're learning now that we charge for these pieces. We charge more and more, and, and customers It's an add-on. Just count it as Absolutely. an add-on. Give them the choice, have some in your yep. showroom, and use it as an add-on. Another thing is if you're a Hunter and you have some mounts on your wall and you're just getting tired of the same old thing, yep. get one of these. You could assemble it yourself very easily and have a very nice finish. We've had that black bear hanging in the showroom yep. for, well, since the last World Show. Didn't we have a yeah. World Show yeah. with the reflective eyes and everything? And uh, it looked very, very nice. We put that 
habitat on and it is just stunning out there. It just makes a tremendous amount of difference. Yeah. But the way we use this, you notice this has a couple holes already drilled in it. They don't come that way. Um, hold that up where you, where you want it and then have, figure out somebody to help you. Figure out where you want your holes. Drill a couple holes through that. It has an actual piece of plywood. Then, I think I'm going to pull a little shorter screw here. Wives and girlfriends make great habitat holders. Okay? Make sure everything's straight. Hold on. Husbands. Husbands make great habitat holders. We good to go? <laughs> I think so. Courtney wants to know, can the metal plate be removed from that to mount a fish? No metal plate, it's a piece of plywood. Easily cut with a reciprocating saw or a jigsaw. You had the same hole, did you know that? I know that. Um, when we put these on, we're putting them on with fender washers. So Not that it doesn't... anybody's wife or girlfriend could hold that <laughs> <up>. <laughs> You two are so cute. <laughs> oh man, it's happy. I don't know. <laughs> There okay, we go. we're done. Whoa. I could even do that. You think you could? No. Yes, you could. <laughs> now watch this. We're not done. We're not even kind of done. <laughs> yeah. Little, yeah. Little that, maybe. And take a little drill bit. This never goes the way it's supposed to. Look at old piece of Sandy's barbed wire. Oh yeah, it's a great purchase. Don't jump ramp. Let's go get us more. And from the farm. Rusted barbed wires in the catalog for added character. Lock jaw in a kit. <laughs> Make sure you have your tennis shot. That's Cindy. She hates putting those together in the box. Look at that. Look how easy this is. I drill into that heavy old foam, put it in. You don't have to do anything, but I probably put some glue in there, but it's stuck pretty good. Yeah. Need your staple back? Sure could. We're not done. How about this You hold it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spot? Ish. Ish. Here, you take that loose one. Can we see a close-up of the barbed wire drilled into the piece? Sure. Yeah. Get up in there, Kristen. I'm getting, I'm getting up. Whoops. I'm gonna, okay, here, before I cover it up. I can't even see where it's at. <laughs> Which is the point. You could use actually an old fencing staple if you wanted to get real creative. I know, I, I couldn't um, find one. That works pretty good too. And add some some of this type of element, or we can go with a nice moss branch. Why don't you sell that wall piece with the barbed wire attached? You're asking us? I thought you made all those. <laughs> You're the one that's I kind of like it. I didn't see the option before. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, you can add another element through here. Wrap that thing all the way around there. That looks kind of good. It's really, I'm going to hold it there by putting one here. Now we've got staples to cover up again, but you saw how easy that was. Now you could, you can add snow, you can add pine leaves, you can add aspen leaves. Um, one of the neatest mounts of the mill there I saw was of these bright, bright green, or bright yellow, yellow sorry, <laughs> aspen leaves. What um, was your truck? Yeah, <laughs> mule deer. Um, it was really, really neat. People like those yellow. All right, well, we're getting to time. We had better let Don choose his bed. Oh. Don Swindle. Don Swindle. You get a pick. Ooh. So we have a sharpener, a blonde sharpener, a cleanup brush, we have a tape measure, and what's the fourth one? It's been a while. Mm, 
something good, I'm sure. Easy no set. Did you say easy no set? No, we gave that one away. Oh. So, you grab one, Kirsten has one, we'll show you at the end what's Now I had the booby prize last time. I'm not in control of booby. So, pick Mandy. Mandy, Brett, Tom, or Kirsten. And while she's picking that, real quick, let's talk about a new product that we have. Cole Cruikshank has put together some awesome DVDs. And you guys have been watching a couple of them. Let's oh my gosh, tell us about them. We've gone through four bowls of popcorn. <laughs> um, Cole, Cole makes a good DVD. He's uh, a good instructor. He knows his stuff. He, a lot of um, good information. Very good presenter. So he has, I believe there's five DVDs. He sent the turkey kit that comes with three DVDs and an extra bonus um, reference CD is one of their top sellers. They also have Painting a Large Mouth Fast Reproduction with Jimmy Lawrence. It's a two hour video and I believe it's $35. There's a Painting a Black cr Crappie with Cole and that's about one hour and 45 minutes and that's $35. There's Molding and Casting and that's $65 for four hours. And then I believe Blake was watching earlier. Blake Reiminer, and that's $35. There's it's painting the turkey head and feet, or you can get the three disc extra bonus four disc. So all these are available exclusively with us, or Cole, of course, at Tax Army University, but you'll find them in our catalog and online now. So check those out if you haven't. They're put together very they're very well done. Don Swindle picked Tom's bag. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's see I, what everybody else has first. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to feel responsible oh. if he didn't get the well, big prize. Jared said Matuska's vintage popcorn is the best. I prefer the 2003 <laughs> myself. <laughs> it was old popcorn, but they ate it all. It was good, too. All right, too. Brett, what do you got? Oh, oh, it's not the tape measure. Oh. That's good. Kirsten, what do you got? The uh, cleanup brush. Oh, you got the mystery one that we don't know what's in it. Really? Yeah. You do. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? You go first. No, I'm the winner. You better go first. Oh. Oh. An easy nose texture oh, they did. bottles. Ooh. The whole kit. Four of them. And I have a sharpened oh. air. Now it's broke. So it's still here. Yeah. This was the second best. It's still available, you guys, for next week. So the sharpened air. If you have not seen this tool used, check it out on YouTube or our Facebook page or our um, website because we have a video of the process and it is awesome and it will save a lot of needles, but definitely worth um, the purchase. They work really good and if you look at when we demonstrated it, we had a quick little thing where I yeah. bent over that needle. I mean, I bent it over bad, so bad we didn't know if it was going to work and it straightened it out. Everyone instantly. felt it. It, it was very well. yeah. instantly. Yeah. So, Again, you guys, this is available for next week's um, drawing giveaway, so make sure you have to. There's 48 shares, so Don was one of 48. Make sure you are going to the share button right here and hitting share. Share our now video. Are you in for it now? I'm always in for it. <laughs> <laughs> so do that. Thanks for tuning in. You can check our live videos every Thursday, 4:30 on our Facebook video page. Next week is going to be. More habitat. habitat. More habitat. And we're going to ease yeah. into snow, um, water, water, ice, plastics. icicles, splashes. Wow, mud. that's exciting. Flocking. Flocking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got some new stuff coming. We're working hard on our catalog. A lot of you guys are asking for our Matuska catalog. We are we are down to just what we have on our desks, really, and the one that we're showing you. Um, so, if you don't have a catalog and want to be on our mailing list, give us your information. We will put you on the list. I'm trying really hard to get the 19 done and ready. We're hoping you will have it by the end of November at your doors. Yay. Maybe December or January. January. We've got some super oh, exciting, exciting We are up things. to 460 new products Ooh. that are going in. It's going to be the Matuska Big Book pretty soon. Yeah. It is. We're going to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Also, if you guys, we do promotions and sales and giveaway all the time. If you are not on our email list or getting them, make sure you give us your email and you'll be the first to know, be notified about them. And if they don't have our catalog, um, between now and December, give everything's us, online. Yeah, check yeah. the website. It's well, we have the, online we actually have our high res flip book online of our catalog. So you can either print it off or you can go right on there and look through and see everything. So. 
Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you share the video, tag a friend, like us, give us some hearts and bubbles for my mom's birthday and say hi. Um, let us know you're watching, where you're from. You can always, even if you're not watching yeah. it live, share it. You have a week. Kirsten will choose the winner next Thursday to be in the drawing for and the And where are you going to be this time? I'll be here. Oh. Yeah. 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 We're good. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next week.